What's up everyone? Welcome back to Samantha Race the Recipe, the show where we're rating recipes, restaurants, and food trends. This week we are back with another one from Masterclass Joanne Chang's Bake Like a Pro class, and we're making her sticky sticky buns. So as you've seen, we have already created our brioche our sticky bun goo and our cinnamon sugar um, for the inside so we're gonna just hop right into it but before we start if you haven't already subscribe to the channel take a second now go ahead and click that button and be sure that you are ringing that bell so that you don't miss any of our uploads we're here every Monday so get into it all right so let's get started. Okay, so we have our cold water and yeast already in the mixing bowl. And then we're just going to come behind that with our all-purpose flour and our um, bread flour. And we're just going to build on this. On top of the bread flour, we're going to put in our sugar, our salt, and then we're going to kind of mix that up a little bit with the dough hook. And then we're going to follow right behind it with our eggs one at a time. After we've allowed our eggs to mix in a bit, we're going to come in with our butter. We have it split into just nubs and we just drop them in one at a time. And then this is where the brioche kind of comes together. It takes anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes in short bursts of four minutes at a time to kind of get it going. And then you're going to end up with kind of a loose batter. Um, kind of cakeish in nature and you can just kind of keep whisking not whisking but keep spinning that dough hook in the bowl until it starts to come away from the sides and kind of slap against the bowl at this stage you should be able to kind of take a piece of dough and pull it and see that stretchy elasticity in it and I'm acting like I know what I'm doing honey pulling it because uh, Joanne was able to stretch it to where you can see kind of that window pane um, you know, stretchiness, I don't know how to call it, but it's there. So then you just kind of gather your dough up, get it into a nice cover with some clean wrap, and then I let it sit in the refrigerator. I did let it stay in the refrigerator overnight. Okay. So we're gonna put some of this stuff to the side here because we don't need it right, right now. And the first thing we're gonna do is roll out our brioche dough. Now, admittedly, I can't really tell if it doubled in size or not, but when I looked at her, um, her being Joanne, her video, it looks similar. Um, she said the dough should be hard, so I'm just gonna flick some of the flour onto the surface so that we can roll it out. When you make something with yeast, oh, it's hard. Okay, that's the first thing. She said the dough would be hard. So I feel like confident about that, honey. Honey, she don't wanna come out. So we're going to use half of this dough for her sticky, sticky buns. And the other half, she has some other things that you can make with it. So I will say I'm glad that the dough is firm um, because that's how hers was. So that makes me feel good. And then this goes into plastic wrap back in the fridge. So now that we've halved our dough, we're gonna just press her down. And then we're gonna start, I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit more flour on top so she don't stick. We don't want her to stick to the bottom either. So, boom. I learned my lesson last time. So on top of my, um, on the bottom rather of my wood block, I have um, a towel so that it doesn't like move around a lot. And we're gonna just roll it out. And to like, I think she said like a nine by 13 rectangle. So you're gonna have to keep turning it in order to get that rectangle shape. Now, before we fully assemble our um, sticky, sticky buns, we're gonna take our goo that we made. Now, this goo is um, brown sugar. It is honey. It is heavy whipping cream. It is a little bit of water, of course, salt. And what we're gonna do is take this goo and it goes down in the pan. Now, we made this ahead of time. Now, Joanne say, listen, honey, everything is made ahead of time. And I am glad that I made the goo ahead of time because it does have to cool. So, just like we made the brioche last night, let it set overnight, we made the goo. And now we're gonna take our pecans and we're gonna just kinda sprinkle them on top of our goo. 
And of course, like, listen, now if you've been here, you know I don't like no nuts. So when she was like, put a little bit on the top, oh, honey, I was not happy. But I'm going to go ahead and, you know, be a good team player. But, yeah. All right. So now we're going to put this goo to the side and we are going to um, roll out our sticky buns. Uh, not roll them out, but assemble and then let those rise. So now we're going to finish assembling our brioche with our um, sticky sugar um, mixture. So this is just white sugar, brown sugar, and some pecans that are chopped up. Again, Lord, honey, why so many nuts? And you just kind of sprinkle it throughout your dough and you just kind of press it in. So now that we've got our cinnamon sugar onto the brioche, if you've ever made cinnamon rolls, then this is very similar, if not exactly the same as making cinnamon rolls. The only difference is that you're not smearing that layer of butter or combining the cinnamon sugar mixture with the butter. And I guess it's because the brioche dough itself has so much butter in it. However, you know, whatever, I guess that's just how it is. So we're gonna take that little edge and of course you're gonna fold it up, you know, that first little baby roll, okay? And then you're just gonna follow it along and just roll it up, honey, roll it up. And then she did this thing called Cat's Piano where she basically kind of pressed out the edges like this. I should have rolled it like towards me. I don't know, weird. But basically what this does is when you seal it up, it gives it a more tacky surface so that it will actually stick to itself. Cause you know, sometimes when you be making cinnamon rolls, it don't be sticking to itself. Then you gotta pinch, pinch, pinch. So this is, I guess, a way to avoid having to pinch. This is like a pre-pinch. So again, you just keep rolling out that dough or up that dough, rolling it up, not rolling it out. We already rolled it out. Mm -mm, pecan, cause once again, what I said, pecans is hot. So now you have your log and you don't really, I'm gonna pinch it anyway, honey, but that did make a difference. So of course, like always, you're gonna cut the little scraggly ends off. All right, so she made a slice in the middle and then a slice here, and then this is in half again, and then half again, oh, it's working, honey. And then in half again, and then half again. And you could do this with a bench scraper if you have one, I don't, so. Actually, I do, I just don't know where it is, honey. So that's like that and then we're gonna take it she was like put it right in the goo and i was like how is that gonna happen when it's rising but hers did rise this is gonna be the test ain't it i'm gonna know if they if it really proved right if these buddies rise up okay oh she tall she taller than her brothers so okay here we go it's just gonna sit them right in that goo uh-oh excuse yourself and then boot like that Boop like that. I'm gonna get mine from this corner right over here because she ain't got that many uh, pecans on the side. And I know it ain't that many pecans on this side. <laughs> That's by design because what I don't want that many nuts. Okay, so you got them in here. You see how they look? I'm gonna take these little, you know, pecan bits because what I said, pecans is high. they getting in here. Okay, that's what they're gonna do. Get in there. And now mine ain't as cute as hers. We're gonna be honest. These ones here, boop, 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 boop. Them all right. But these ones here, <laughs> looking a little strugglish. And we're gonna take some plastic wrap. We're gonna take some plastic wrap and cover this up. Let it sit out on your counter for like two to three hours. And then we're gonna bake at 350 for some time. I'm gonna put it down below because I don't really remember. Okay guys, so if you've been with me, then you remember I said, I don't think they really rose. And so this was for the second proof. And I mean, they ain't rise. So I'm gonna still bake them. And I know that they're probably not gonna be like as fluffy and delicious as they, or as fluffy as they should be, but hopefully they still taste good. I mean, they got a little bit bigger. They're super soft. I don't know what happened, but whatever. It's going in the oven for, uh 30 to 40 minutes at 350 as they're pale on top but like golden brown as well so like pale and brown then we're gonna take them out oh okay it's over it's done i'm gonna bake them and that's just that so i was worried for nothing i guess 
I ended up proofing them for three hours, and as soon as I put them in the oven, they did rise and puff up. So I'm going to, I plated a few, and I'm going to just take the drizzle and put it over <laughs> so it'll be cute. Okay, so like I said, they did find, they rose in the oven. So I guess <laughs> moral of the story is make sure your room is hot enough or warm enough um, to do it. I did follow the instructions. I don't even know, honey. I don't even know. We're going to get right into the tasting though. I'm worried though because I don't like honey and I don't like nuts and both are in here. It's soft. It's very soft. So, I mean, it just was too cold, I guess. I don't know. It's fresh out of the oven. I don't want to be like with the hotness. Ooh, ha ha. Ooh, ha. It's good though. Hmm. So. The dough is, I, first of all, I was scared to eat this because of the honey the most. Um, but it's good. It's not too sweet. I think the honey does mute down the flavor, uh, or not the flavor, but mute down the sweetness. It shifts it a little bit, so it's not like, bam, straight sugar, right? Um, I would give this a, a 9 out of 10. I'm surprised by it. The brioche itself, same, 9 out of 10. The recipe is not hard but i'm unfamiliar with it so i felt like it was just wrong the whole time right but it tastes good i want somebody else in my house and i might i'll have somebody else taste it to give a different perspective because some of the stuff that's in it i don't really care for in general but as a bite it's a nine out of ten considering i hate nuts i hate honey this was a win all right guys so now that we've tasted everything and rated the brioche itself i want to let you know that there is one more class in the uh, joanne chain bake like a pro course it is a cake i however am not going to do that one because um i am doing a little weight loss thing my goal is to get to 140 by 40 if you want to learn more about that head over to the 140 by 40 channel where you can follow my weight loss and all of that kind of stuff i've lost 30 pounds so <laughs> but um cake is cake and i don't want to do that so now we're going to rate the joy and chain bake like a pro course itself and she's going to get a seven out of ten for me i enjoyed the class um but the thing i didn't like was a lot of the recipes had like a, um, time periods where things had to be done overnight and i guess in my mind this was more of a beginner type of course because of the things that she made, like the cake, um, the um, pie dough, the cookies, like to me, in my mind, at least, the most uh, complex recipe was the brioche, right? That's something that is not common, at least in my mind's eye. So looking at it from that perspective, I feel like what we made could have been, I don't know, it, seven out of 10, that's what she got, okay? It wasn't bad, it wasn't great, but I enjoyed it. Having said that, um, if you haven't already subscribed, it ain't too late. Go ahead and hit that button down below. Make sure that you ring the bell so that you don't miss any of our uploads and we will catch you next time.